the IBL is one of the tools we use. It's like a big camera for detecting particles. And it's located, you know, three centimeters, three centimeters away from the collision point in the very center of Atlas. So the IBL is made out of a bunch of sensors like this. They're very similar to the one that's in your camera, except they detect particles instead of light. These sensors are supported by a bunch of infrastructure that's off the detector. Um, things like power supplies and cooling systems and readout systems. We're in the uh, SR1 uh, clean room at CERN. Uh, behind me you see two spare IBL staves. So the IBL is composed of 14 staves. Uh, we built 20 in total. So here behind me are two spares that we use here for testing. So you can see here a big mounting frame. Uh, and in there, there is a, what is actually called a bare stave. So this is a carbon support structure that will support the actual sensors and chips that do the readout. Um, you can see 32 of these little chips, which have a front end chip, which does the, the readout, and then you have a sensor mounted on top of that. So there's, uh, there's planar sensors and there's 3D sensors. The planar sensors are actually uh, based on the planar sensor that was in the pixel detector. Uh, it was reworked, but it's the, the ideas are based on that sensor. And the 3D sensor is actually a completely new uh, technology that find their first application in high energy physics actually. Now with the IBL, they have never been used before. The 3D sensors are one of the most innovative uh, new technologies incorporated into the IBL. This is a type of silicon sensor that is designed in a different way than the traditional planar sensors, which have electrodes arranged in a horizontal planar fashion. The uh, 3D sensors instead have electrodes, sort of cylindrically shaped electrodes embedded in a vertical fashion inside the uh, sensor. And this different geometry ends up yielding a sensor that is more robust against harsh, the harsh radiation environment that will be encountered in the next run of Atlas. So IBL has just been installed. Um, the next step is connecting the detector and testing all of its systems one at a time to make sure that everything's working properly. Once everything checks out, and we, we, you know, we have a whole series of tests we have to go through, and we have checklists miles long, and once we complete all of that, we can say, all right, the detector is now ready. You know, and we hand it over to the operations team and they can, start, they can start recording data with it. And at that point, we really know that it's been a success, at least from our side.